güzellik. Güzellik. Evet, meyli. Enjoy a art show initiated by Gaokai Art Center. Um, here you can see a lot of uh, uh, artworks. Um, Gaokai Art Center is the first uh, um, uh, international art center and uh, art gallery in Xinjiang. And actually, I'm kind of nervous, you know, to talk to artists because I feel like artists are, you know, it's easier for them to see through people. Now let's uh, talk to uh, Musa Ma, and he is also from Xinjiang. And uh, uh, this art show uh, is initiated by him. Hello, hello. This, this is Musa. I'm the director of the Dose Art Festival, and welcome to the uh, exhibition. So, uh, as this white box, we actually showed four important pioneer contemporary painters from Xinjiang. So, we have uh, Najmi Din, who is the uh, most influential Uyghur artist and who was born in Xinjiang and studied in uh, Xi'an Art University as well as the National Minority Art Music, uh, University in Beijing. And he went back to Xinjiang, I think, back to 90. Uh, 70, late 70s or early 80s, and has spent like ton, like 20 years uh, in different uh, cities there, like Hami and um, the Southern Pond. So he used to do this. I uh, you know you can see um, the influence uh, from the Western uh, paintings, uh, but it's all abstract. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of abstract. But he was very interested in the uh, local uh, the, the people mm -hmm. uh, in the source. So that is his own self-portrait as well. One of my oh. favorite, yeah, you can see from the eyes. So it's like, yeah, I like the color. Yeah, exactly. Match. Very powerful. Mm -hmm. one. And this one, Roshidan, um, is the uh, only women painter here. She's a wife of Najmi Ding, and she, they work together wow. for over 40 years. So uh, she, she comes from a very uh, highly educated family background, and his father is also an artist. Uh, her father and she, she studied in the Central Academy of Fine Arts um, oil painting of uh, the thing and in her works that uh, he fe she, she features the mingling the women uh, characters uh, in the southern Xinjiang so if you go to Hotel uh, you, in, somewhere next to the desert you know, the winds is crazy so people yeah. will always wear the scarf and yeah. sitting next to uh, is that like, like Kajab? As, um, yeah, it's kind of like a kajab, it's more like a scarf, I think. Yeah. Okay, but, but they use this headscarf to yeah. uh, prevent themselves from the wind. Yeah, yeah, sand. exactly, exactly. The, the, the spring, especially over the spring and summer season, the, the, the wind is crazy. Yeah. Uh. So, um, like this artist, the woman artist, she, uh, she, came from, she comes from uh, southern Xinjiang. No, she's actually from the north, uh, north, uh, how does it, east, the Hami uh, okay, region. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. But, like, her artworks were all about women in the south part? Or it kind of like that, yeah, all over the region, but okay. mainly from the south, I think. Mm -hmm. And in the most recent series, she featured, she also does self-portraits, so this is her. Oh. Yeah, we, we use it all the time, like, as mm -hmm. a artist profile. Uh, it's very powerful, and you can yeah. see. So the couple, uh, like the their attitude, style, the are quite similar, right? The style. The, you mean between them, right? The couple. The, the couple. Yes, she um, and her you husband. could see that because the color, for example, the papers are very well used uh, in different paintings. But if you see it clearly, um, spend more time in front of the painting, you can see the Miles' work uh, was more powerful, strong, dramatic. Uh, yeah. and, but hers work is more soft, uh, mm -hmm. calm, and you know the gentle, and also having this. Uh, I, I won't call it a woman uh, glass or uh, guys, mm -hmm. but I think it's like deliver the message that she's um, she's with those people she she draws with. And we, we didn't show the works that she uh, she draw a lot is like women and their children. Okay. Um, so um, she she put a lot of like uh, her own uh, emotions in her painting as well. How old is she? She was born uh, after 1960. Oh, yeah. okay. And those two paintings also, uh, two artists are also pretty amazing. The Hui Asnik, who uh, oh. painted Zhang Yonghe, oh. 
Uh, she studied in Shanghai mm-hmm. and uh, went back to Xinjiang. Also, has studio in Beijing right now. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the drawdown paper. She grew up in a family where religion plays a very important role. Um, so, uh, as a Hui ethnic, she always found that there is a possibility to to you know, have those how to say um, messages between. God and himself, but it's not a religion painting. But I mean, people always, you know, uh, the, the children' times memory has has an important mm-hmm. impact on. Um. So it's 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 not oil painting. It's not painting. Like it's water. Uh, uh, yeah, watercolor. Okay, watercolor. It's watercolor. It's, oh, it's watercolor. The original piece. Yeah, original piece. It's quite unique, right? Yeah, it's very unique. Uh, it's so, uh, where, where was he born? He was born in Changji. Okay, Changji yeah, Hui Ethnic Qitai, Prefecture. Yeah. Qitai-xian. Yeah. Qitai-xian, oh, okay. yeah. Qitai County. And this is Zhang Yongxu, also a very... You know, special. Zhang Yongxu and Zhang Yongxu sounds like yeah, brothers. Yeah, exactly, but not. <laughs> <laughs> Yong is actually a, a very common word, I yes, think, for the second. Yes. Uh, so uh, this one, oil painting, amazing. He's mm-hmm. uh, uh, he's he studied in Beijing. Uh, was born in Xinjiang. Uh, grew up in Bintuan. Okay. Um, and went to the States uh, for a couple of years. Japan for uh, a few uh, year uh-huh. or something. And went back to Beijing and um, built up his own studio. He's pretty influential in the contemporary art mm-hmm. world in China and was represented by very well known uh, gallery. Has exhibition in like MoMA, PS1, mm-hmm. uh, and many other art institutes. He's quite international. Yeah, he's very international. And so most of his art artworks are you know focused on Xinjiang. Exactly. That's okay. also somehow um, can reflect that the, the children' memory that while uh, he was grew up in Xinjiang has you know a great impact on his art. When did creation. he leave Xinjiang? Oh, he went to school. I think twenty four. He was born also. 1965 or something. Mm-hmm. So I think for a long time, already like 25 years at least. But still, most of his majority of his paintings are all about Xinjiang. Um, where, where where does he live now? He lives in Beijing right Beijing, now. Okay. Yeah, I spend most time here. So you can find like many people they leave Xinjiang at their like some 20s, and then they have really. You know, good memories of our hometown, just like yeah, us. Yeah, when, exactly. When did you when did you leave Xinjiang? Uh, after eighteen, I went college back to <laughs> two thousand five. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, I think just so. like me, I le- uh, left for Beijing from Xinjiang when I was seventeen to go to seventeen uh, university here. I see. Then I, see. I just you know work here, live here. Right. I spent like six years in Beijing mm-hmm. between my uh, uh, my 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 master and my my. Not postgraduate. What is that called? My my university uh, college. Mm-hmm. Between my college and my master, uh, uh-huh. I spent a year in Dubai. So okay. that yeah, and I went back to Xinjiang uh-huh. after my graduation from master two years ago. We call it the green box. So okay. uh, mostly we uh, showing the performance arts uh-huh. as well as some photo works from uh-huh. local artists. So there are gonna be some performances this not tonight. Ah uh, no no no. So it's just like a photo or video uh, uh, records. <laughs> Of their performance. Oh, okay. yeah. This one is really interesting, one of my favorite as well. Um, so you can see all the green chain, which reflect uh, if you see Jia Zhangke movie, you always see the green chain, right? Um, back to that time, 2001, you know, the internet is not so well developed, and people who conduct contemporary art have, you know, has very uh, lack of access to the information or um, possibility to communicate with uh, outside world. So those six artists who is really cool uh, used by that time, back to like 20 years ago. Okay. So uh, they stand next to the train where, uh, uh, how to say, the entrance of the train to Xinjiang. Uh-huh. So all the trains that come from outside pro- uh-huh. province will pass through this gate. So okay. they stand next to the train, and if you see there's a uh, there's a sign, what is it called, road sign or something, uh, uh-huh. train sign 9. Milestone. Milestone, yeah. yeah. At 8.5, 8.75. So by that time, oh. we really want to use in this way uh-huh. to communicate with people on the train and to express the ego that they really, well, as an artist who living in Xinjiang and having a design to communicate with the outside world. Okay. So the people you can see, the small uh. and who are just seeing high, or, surprise, you know, surprise <laughs> as a naked man. Yeah. Here. But it's really nice work. It's, very, it's also important why in the contemporary artist 
industry yeah, in China, yeah. in Xinjiang. I'm, I'm thinking like people in Xinjiang, the, the, you know, they are, they are, they were, and they are eager to communicate with exactly, people outside exactly. the region because Xinjiang is so huge, so you know, yeah, so remote. The, yeah, yeah, exactly. The internet helps a lot. Now people get access to the different information, yeah, but yes. still, you know, I think even today, not only Xinjiang, many people like even if we, we don't talk about Xinjiang, mm-hmm. but also many regions, Hong Kong or other part of China, the western, the east, the dialogue is always essential and it's always needed. Mm-hmm. So by that time, it's because of the lack of information, oh, internet. Was 20 years ago. Yeah, 20 years yeah, ago. But yeah. now even we have those communicate toys, right? Mm-hmm. But still, I think people need a way to communicate. So yes. that's why I really do like this work. So, so this is a courtyard. Upstairs. Yeah, this is a courtyard. We okay. have a very small uh-huh. books under the train exhibition mm-hmm. uh, here. Some like craft, architect books oh. about Xinjiang. Okay. And so upstairs, you can see all the beautiful scarves that come from the southern part of Xinjiang, uh-huh. uh, all handmade. Um, yeah, so we have like 15. Yeah, 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 let's okay. go. Uh, this one is my tarim, um, conducted by Zhang Boyuan, also oh, a very young mm-hmm. um, artist, a photographer. Based in Beijing also. Based in Beijing now, uh, in Shanghai most oh, time. Okay, okay. Wow. And the scarf. <laughs> It's, it's like a bazaar. Is it for sale? It is for sale for x <laughs> as well. Yeah, I could give you a better discount. Okay. <laughs> I know uh, last week I went to Aksu and I seen a lot of, you know, those blanket for like decorations. Yeah, for, yeah, yeah. You know, use, use. Exactly. And it's quite expensive actually. <laughs> <laughs> this one's okay. Yeah, same price. So uh-huh. here it's uh, in Wurumqi. Oh, this is the bazaar of the Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know it was shoot by Ma Helen. Helen's. I like that one, like you know me with the. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> What is that called? Two bristling. I don't something. know. Yeah, it's one of the most. <laughs> I like that one, popular one. best. Yeah, this one was conducted in two, so back to 2018. Oh. She just went back from New York. She spent like eight years here, uh-huh. um, and she went to the three continent cities in southern part of China, uh, in Xinjiang, uh-huh. and she also carried like two suitcases with all the different, <laughs> you know, the, the high fashion clothes she brought uh-huh. from. She rented from New York, and uh-huh. asking those models or uh, local people. I know that. Yeah, yeah, people like <laughs> seeing. Oh, this is not as exactly. beautiful. It's not yeah, as exactly. beautiful but as still, mine. Still, yeah, they, they picked up some uh-huh. uh, like, like the, that yellow t- the mimi, coat? yeah, mimi coat. Oh, that is yeah, mimi yeah. Coat. Okay. So that's it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she's now, after the two years um, we work together, uh, becomes one of the, I think, most uh, emerging and popular yeah, yeah. photographers in China. I know, she has yeah. cooperated with a lot of brands. Exactly. Too. Really cool. On this side, we also have like now it's lunch time, so now everyone is ah, here. Yeah, and the afternoon will be nuts. more crowded. Uh-huh. So this whole house is you sit down. Yeah. Oh, just can do this. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. 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 这是不同的意思对都看不懂哎看哦哦运推算哦 like this scarf 对 所以他能参加这里的市集的都是新疆新疆来的，对，大部分都是啊，也有一些本地的，现在北京生活还是啊，有一些是侧翼过来的，有一些是在北京生活，对，都有，会会发现很多不同的地方，而且是一种很和谐